Hello, hello, it's Danny here, and today I am hopping along to celebrate Showcase Super Sponsor Polka Doodles with Kendra's Card Challenge 13. Um, in case I forget anything, all the information is in the description box, so, so take a peek down there and make sure that I covered everything. As, as I'm going to be putting the card together like live, I'm not doing a voiceover, so I tend to kind of get off track. But Kendra's card challenge is a quarterly challenge. You take six six by sheets of papers and it creates 15 cards. She gives you the cutting guide and the sketch sketches to create those. And then you can enter her challenge um, in her Facebook group. All the information about that is in her like intro video and in the Facebook group, all the links are down below. For today's card, I'm going to be using sketch number eight. I like that it has this big scene or like where it says build a scene. I just used a single image, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then, like I said, we are showcasing super sponsor polka doodles. They did provide the team with, um, some images and digital papers, but a few years ago I was on their team and I already had a bunch of stuff already printed. Um, I love the digital papers so you can print them and just have them. And if you need like a different size or whatever, you can do that. And then I also had a whole bunch of digital stamps printed out. So I went through and made sure that what I used was still current and that's what I used. I will leave links to it in the description box below. They really did have, they really do have some very cute, cute stuff. I would definitely check them out. If you're new to digital stamps, they are super fun and easy. I kind of go in spells where I do nothing but um, like physical stamps. And then other times I do nothing but digital stamps. I like them both. And since Polka Doodles is based out of the UK, digital stamps are perfect. So again, I'm going to be using sketch number eight here. Like I said, I do have everything all ready to go. So let's get busy and put it together. Um, again, this is a hop. So make sure that you click the playlist that is in the description box below. Hop around, see everyone's videos. And if you like what you see, give them a thumbs up and click that bell to bell for notifications and subscribe. I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. My voice is kind of running away, so I think I'm trying to hurry up and I shouldn't do that, so I apologize. Um, kind of getting all out of sorts here. Sorry about that. Normally I'm a little bit more prepared, but anyways, if you've been on my channel before, watched me before, you know that I start from the inside and I work my way out. And you also probably know that I've been fighting with glue. I'm going to actually stop the camera because I just got some new barely art glue. So let me go grab Okay, that. this is my very first time using this. So hopefully I got the tip on right. And, oh wow, look at that. We got glue. <laughs> it's the little things in life that make us happy, right? I'm just going to put that flag there. And then I'm going to put this one on top of that. Oh my goodness, I have been having such issues with glue that this just makes me so happy. And I think I'm going to put this up a little bit, flip it over. I'm actually going to set it aside and we will cut that off in a moment. No. I think it's drying enough because I have my scissors that don't get, stuff doesn't stick to. So we're good with that. And then we're going to get this added to the inside. Again, I like to do the insides, just makes it more cohesive. Plus, I typically almost always use a colored um, base, and so I always feel like having that white panel inside just really helps it so you can really tell when you write your message. All right, and so I did already color up this little one. Um, she's just so cute. She is Stick With Me Honey Pie, and I just, oh my goodness, 
So I gave her some freckles. I added some white um, accents with a white gel pen. Friendship grows. I think it turned out adorable. But as per the sketch, we're going to go ahead and put this down. And I don't know for sure if I mentioned, I know that I mentioned this is a hop. Playlist is in the description box. There is also a digital um, giveaway from Cards from Kendra. Once you hop around and see everyone's video, go ahead and fill out the form that is linked in the description box. And then the winner will be announced on um, Kendra's Cards Cards by Kendra's community tab. And you need to enter that by February 23rd. All right, let me see what kind of placement we got here. I did kind of leave a little bit more of a gap than it's on the sketch, only because I had this image already printed out. And so to get it trimmed right. I also, I don't remember the name of this paper, but it's got like a shimmer to it. And I haven't colored on it for so long. It is super nice to color on it, but it's amazing the difference that the paper does make when you're doing alcohol marker coloring. I think I'm going to add a little bit of glue just to make sure that it sticks. Now that I actually have a glue that works, I cannot tell you. I have been battling glue issues for months now. And now I'm probably going to be the queen of glue because I have several other kinds coming to try. But anyways, I digress. Sorry, I must be in a rambly mood. have to remember that I am all by myself with my cats and tortoise because my kids are in college and my husband is back on the road. So there we have that. And then we're going to add her right here. Super, super cute. Pocadoodles really does have some of the most adorable images. I know that they have um, several different different characters. Like I said, this is Honey Pie, and she is adorable. They have some critters. They have gnomes. All the things. Okay, and then I did take um, an old Stamping Up Punch that had these hearts because I thought she needed something and so I'm going to put three hearts on here. Probably just like that. All right. Yeah. And I might, I didn't grab them out before I take the pictures of the card. I might add some, like, sparkle gems or like rhinestones or something just to add just a little bit more interest but there she is I think she turned out so super cute and she was super fun to color um, and then again on the inside just those banners just to finish it off and so there's my card using sketch number eight and again, everything is in the description box. Important things, make sure you hop around, the, uh, click on that playlist. Uh, once you've done that, fill out the form to be entered for the digital giveaway. Make sure you give lots of thumbs ups and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you like what they're sharing. And click the bells for notifications. And until my next video, thanks so much for stopping by and go do something for yourself and go get crafty. Bye.